Teesside's a really special place. You know, th this is the place where the first steam engines work. This is the place where steel was made that formed the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It's got a rich, rich industrial past, and I believe a rich industrial future at the same time. BP is pursuing a total of four projects in the low carbon space here in Teesside, which will be significant investments for BP in the UK, frankly, at a global level as well. Net Zero Teesside Power is a gas-fired power station that will generate up to 860 megawatts worth of power. That's equivalent to about 1.3 million homes. That power will be low carbon. We'll also be flexible so that we can dispatch the power station into the, the grid here in the UK on the days where the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining. H2 Teesside is what's called a blue hydrogen facility. That's one that takes natural gas and turns it into hydrogen but we store the carbon dioxide that would otherwise have been emitted. We're aspiring towards 1.2 gigawatts worth of hydrogen, and that goes to industries here in Teesside to allow them to reduce their carbon footprint. High Green produces what's called green hydrogen, so that's hydrogen produced through the electrolysis of water. It has no carbon in it whatsoever. H2 Teesside and High Green, the blue and the green hydrogen plants. They will make up about 15% of the government's target for clean hydrogen production by 2030. The Northern Endurance Partnership is the pipeline infrastructure that we will use to transport and then store carbon dioxide offshore, initially from Teesside, but eventually from Humberside as well, thereby decarbonising industries across a big part of the east coast of the UK. The number of jobs, the number of skilled employees that we're going to need in the region is significant. We're working closely with Redka College, where we help sponsor their Energy Technicians of the Future programme. We're optimistic that the spend that we'll be making will get out into the local community and there's a trickle down of value. Each of the projects that we're developing here in Teesside have partners in them, and all of those partners actually come from, from other countries. It gives the opportunity for the skills and the experiences developed in Teesside actually to be exported elsewhere in the world. There's a huge opportunity on Teesside here to create the low carbon energy hub of the future so that in a decade's time, when people think about the hydrogen economy, they think of Teesside. Kids in school could aspire to a future here close to home, all contributing to energy transition for the UK.